typically a child would go from an infant car seat into a convertible car seat up to a booster seat. But a new category has come on the market, the youth or toddler car seat. And joining me to tell us all about that is Tim Weeks from carseatdepot.com. Tim, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. So uh, tell us a little bit about this category. What sets it apart from the uh, typical convertible car seat? Well, these are different from the convertible because none of these are for rear facing. So these are forward facing beginning at 30 pounds in each of the cases. But they are starting to hit those higher weight limits where traditionally you'd have to go to a a booster, a belt positioning booster. In this case, uh, we've got one particular model that goes all the way up to 100 pounds, which is which is where the boosters go as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's start with this one. This looks uh, very compact and uh, and easy to, to, to move around. This is very unique seat. It comes with a nice carry bag. This is the hybrid booster by Safeguard. Now, Safeguard's uh, is the retail brand of the company that's been making a lot of the hardware for the children's products industry for years and years. Um, they had developed a number of uh, pieces of hardware that were kind of more expensive and we're continually hearing that we can't afford a, a car seat with, with these uh, great premium hardware on, so they developed a couple of seats on their own. So the hybrid booster, booster now it has to be used with a top tether. You notice that there's no structural back to that, but once uh, the tether is in place, it, uh, it is a forward-facing car seat all the way to 100 pounds with the internal harness. And uh, pretty much every car uh, made since 2002 has that uh, top tether, the latch system. That's right, and the tethers actually came on even before the latch system. So we know that model year 2003 and beyond all have the latch system, but even beyond that, uh, most vehicles for several years before that had the, la the tether as well. This is the Britax region, and it is big. It's a large seat. Uh, but really one of the, the values of this, this is one of the first seats on the market to really break into new territory, all the way up to 80 pounds in the forward facing position. Um, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot of press on this model because it did kind of push those boundaries and it's kind of forced a, a lot of others to kind of come along. But it's a large seat, I think uh, we could almost fit in that. Uh, but a very, very safe and sturdy seat. You do need a little bit of a larger vehicle to use that, but uh, a very good seat. And another great product by Britax. Last but not least, we have, uh, again, another Safeguard seat. It really is a great product. I, this has a one-hand system for, for moving up the, uh, the seat belt and the, the headrest. Uh, great side protection. And again, this is the company that made these products uh, that they were having a difficult time uh, putting in the market. Now this is a $400 car seat, so that's one of the challenges of this, but it made very well. What I love most about this um, is you put your child in and get them all situated with the touch of a button, the whole harness snugs up, and so without having to try to pull and adjust, uh, it just adjusts them automatically. A lot of great features in how it operates. Um, very nice fabric, and so it, you know it's a, it's a fairly heavy seat, but overall fits very well in the vehicle. Um, this is a company that's been studying child restraints for decades and uh, finally introduced one of their own. We mentioned that a lot of these seats uh, are uh, equipped to connect to the latch system. Tell us a little bit more about what that is. The latch stands for lower anchorages and tethers for children. And uh, beginning in 02, uh, all the vehicles were equipped with latch. You'll notice little bars in your vehicle. And so each of the seats, both rear facing and forward facing, are required to have this latch system. So in this case, they, you, with the push of a button, it comes out. And then once you release, it automatically retreats back in. And so, you know, t a lot of times you're in that seat and trying to pull the strap while you're pushing down. In this case, you just push the seat down and it, and it latches in place right as you push into the seat. Do you think we're going to start seeing more uh, systems like that to make that adjustment easier? I think so, especially as the price points come down from on that hardware. I think we'll, we'll see more and more seats offering those kinds of features. And of course, each of these features also ha has the tether strap that goes behind the seat and anchors to a point behind the automobile seat.